Hello, and welcome back to another Unscripted Surgical with your host, Dr. Richard Farnham. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, earlier this week, when Dr. Goldstein and I discussed the coronavirus, today I want to talk about, for patients, how to see my doctor when I can't see my doctor. So, in any area of business uh, during this epidemic, it would behoove us to find a way to digitize what it is that we do. And in the field of medicine, uh, there are healthcare providers that may not know about this concept of telemedicine. And for patients, uh, many people don't know about this ability that is available to actually have a visit with your doctor so long as it doesn't require a physical exam, but actually to share um, your historical findings and to discuss what uh, treatment options could be. So we're going to discuss that in a minute. Uh, I did want to give a brief update to the coronavirus. We had uh, given a talk here a couple days ago, and this is a rapidly developing, unprecedented um, medical uh, event. Uh, this pandemic uh, has effects not just in the healthcare world, but clearly there are psychological, social, political, uh, financial impacts to all of this. And as far as it is relating to your health, a lot of people are getting very stressed out. And um, a lot of visits nowadays go beyond just uh, what is uh, issues that come up with clinical medicine um, and surgery. A lot of issues are relating to anxiety, depression. And I think it will behoove all of us to spend 15 minutes a day uh, on meditation. I think we are at home. Let's spend time with our families. Let's, uh, let's work out. Let's get some physical exercise. Um, and let's all stay positive. It's been said that it's easy to be a leader when everything's going great. But let's be the leader that you said you were uh, in the difficult times as well. Let's be a beacon of hope for those around us. I saw a uh, very nice quote with an image uh, as it relates to our healthcare workers that, you know, we are on the front lines uh, fighting this battle for you. So you guys stay home for us. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Dr. Jasmine Pedroso out there in Vegas holding it down. Uh, she provided me with this image, which I thought was uh, very powerful. We talked about on our last podcast, the idea of social distancing to try to cut this viral spread off. And um, I'm going to clarify or update rather a couple things that, you know, this is a rapidly evolving situation. And so uh, essentially every day we know new things that we didn't know before. And I would say as a testament to um, not just uh, American, but uh, around the world, scientists, healthcare leaders uh, coming together. In the last few days, we've had um, advances in ways of combating this virus. Now, I'll reiterate what we said last time. For at least 80% of people, this is gonna be a mild virus that you're gonna contract and you're gonna get sick and you're gonna get better. For a small percentage uh, of the other 20% that don't get better right away, um, around 1%, they are going to need acute care. But there are options that are available now. Um, there's a vaccine that is now being trialed in Seattle. Uh, there's a phase one trial. Uh, they're going to enroll uh, about 50 patients and follow them out for six weeks. Um, there are antivirals. Remdesivir, produced by uh, Israeli company Gilead, originally designed for Ebola but is shown to halt uh, viral spread. Uh, Caletra, which is a drug that is used for, uh, as an antiretroviral for HIV patients, has shown some promise. And favilavir, that's now being used in China. Um, now these are very early and they're really only for the sickest of the patients, so you should still not go to the hospitals seeking a treatment for this. Um, most of these are going to result spontaneously, but for acutely ill patients, I think this is a testament um, to what we're capable of that, that we are going to beat this thing. Together, we have the intelligence, we have the motivation, and we have the ability to beat this. So. To be clear, I want to make sure that everybody follows all federal, state, and local uh, county mandates. 
um, as one city after another goes on lockdown. Um, we have to understand that this is a difficult time for everybody, uh, but this is critical. This is our time to act now, to halt the spread of the virus, to flatten that curve and prevent overwhelming the healthcare system. All right, and on to our topic for today. So there are a number of technology companies that now integrate seamlessly with the physician's electronic medical record system. For those uh, providers that have this technology, you're able to, they will give you as an option to have a televisit. So if you feel sick, uh, you're told to stay home, it will be possible for those providers that offer this service for you to be able to have a televisit. You would certainly be able to um, have a discussion about your symptoms and get advice, uh, prescription treatment, whatever, and it functions like a regular visit. Um, you'll see as an example, uh, what we use in our clinic is uh, Athena Healthcare, and there is a uh, tech company called Chiron, based out of Austin, Texas, that uh, produces a software that allows us to have a video chat. Um, this is available, and for patients that you know feel disconnected um, from the system, uh, we're gonna show you an example of how this would work. So what do you do if you need to see your doctor and you can't see your doctor? So we have a solution. Many clinics are now offering telemedicine. So if you have a need to speak with your doctor that doesn't require a physical examination and your doctor offers this service, um, you can now set up a visit, an appointment, and actually have a consult with your doctor over the phone. All you need is this, and you will be able to set up an account on your phone and have your doctor set up the account with their electronic health record system, assuming that is compatible, and you'll be able to have a face-to-face -face video live telechat, and you should be able to accomplish um, uh, a significant portion of your needs to be able to access healthcare in a safe fashion, even if you're uh, feeling sick. Uh, we'll go through the process and we'll explain how this is going to work. So, as you can see, our medical student Chris Kim has volunteered to help demonstrate this for us. At this point, we are separated. You're at home, I'm in the office, and we still want to set up an appointment so we can discuss things that don't require a physical exam. So. So you'll uh, log in to your account and um, you'll wait for the doctor to log on to their account. So from this screen, this is a test patient. So this is HIPAA compliant and this is our uh, uh, office staff who's volunteered to use her account for the purposes of this demonstration. So as the physician, I'm in my medical chart, I'll open the telemedicine sidebar and I'll click start appointment. So this will open the uh, communication with our student doctor on the other side. I'm going to turn my volume down because it's going to create an echo. But you can also look over on the other side and you can see how Chris has access to us and we can conduct our visit. He can see me, I can see him. Uh, we can effectively communicate anything that we need to um, between uh, ourselves and any kind of medical records that don't require a physical exam. And it's that easy. So if you uh, need to have a visit and you can't see your doctor, you can still see your doctor. So thanks again. So I hope all of this was helpful. Um, I hope people are able to seek out and get the treatment, the care they need. They want to stay uh, optimistic in this crisis and um, we're all going to get through this. Uh, check back in regularly and we'll continue to give updates and uh, provide meaningful information. And of course, since toilet paper memes never get old, uh, we'll put this one up there. All right, and if you missed our last uh, video on COVID-19, um, you can see here on the screen the QR code. If you happen to be watching on a iPad or a laptop, you can take out your phone, open the camera app, and that'll directly link you. Or you can just um, search it up on Facebook and YouTube, um, and you can watch that video uh, in its entirety. Thanks again, and be safe out there.